Hey guys, how are going? Right, the the season of shooters is upon us um, with Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, as well as lots of other games that are shooters. Uh, whether it be third person or first person, everyone is trying to get a little bit over their competition. Now, you have uh, different controllers, obviously. You have scuff controllers, which are expensive, but uh, they allow you to have paddles uh, on the controllers, which obviously will give you a little bit of an advantage being able to use one of the paddles instead of jump, so you don't have to take your fingers off the thumbsticks. Now, that's one option. The other option is to get thumbstick extenders. Uh, now, Control Freaks are one of the companies that I have experience with. Um, and I've just purchased some more control freaks, so I thought I'd give you a rough idea of what they do. Um, if I show you the ones that I've got first, so I've got the Call of Duty Modern Warfare for PS4. Uh, I don't know if you can see that okay, I'm just going to hold it across the front there just to get a bit more focus. So uh, there's those ones, and then there are the Call of Duty Zombies uh, Spaceland Edition glow-in-the-dark ones. One of them's upside down unfortunately but there you go you get the impression. So let's open up these Modern Warfare ones and I'll show you what they are. So if you haven't seen any kind of control freaks in the past this is this is this is it. It's a small piece of plastic with a little rubber top and what it does is let me see if I can get you it it sits up a little bit as opposed to being on the controller. So, and here's the other one. Let me put this on there. And that one's just a flat, sort of concave and convexed ones. So what we have, I'll show you on the controller. So standard controller, you move left and right, and you move relatively a long way to get to the same thing. Now what the control freaks do is, if I put it on, a lot of the time, your movements are going to be small around the middle. So what this gives you is it gives you a better lever to move smaller amounts but get the same thing. So I only have to move a couple of millimetres and the bottom thumbstick has lent over relatively considerably. Now obviously it's, you know, it's a lever so it enables you to have more precise control uh, and then the same with the, the thumbstick one. It just allows you to have a bit more control where you're going. Now it does help in some way. Uh, some people, you know, some people when they buy scuff controllers, they have extended uh, thumbsticks. And the only problem is, unless you get the more expensive scuff controller, you can't take those back off. Whereas these, you can just pop them off and you're back to the standard, standard controller. Um, which, you know, in my opinion, it, you know, just a scuff controller might be better off for you. In my opinion, I like to have my controllers slightly different. You know, sometimes depending on what games I'm playing, I might have different different thumbstick configurations. You know, I, I, I tend to only have a control freak extender on one controller. So there's there's the zombie, the zombie ones. They glow in the dark as well. Unfortunately, I don't think you can... <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to see it very well because obviously it's not dark. Um, but I can guarantee you that by you know looking over them, they definitely are glow in the dark. Um, so they're relatively cheap. You can order them online. There's lots of places that do them. You can buy them in the local your, your sort of local uh, game shop, as it were, and. You know, if you're looking for a, that little bit of an advantage, or not so much an advantage, but you're looking for a bit more precision, um, give them a try. You never know what might come of it. You might get good scores. They might not work for you. Um, so, you know, this is Control Freaks. As you can see, the different height, difference in heights uh, on top, more and warfare, and um, yeah, just a bit of an overview of them. So, uh, anyway, take it easy. Thanks for watching. See you later.